this is a Scotsman called it a, a feminist anthem, which is quite silly. <laughs> goes, um, so, what do you go for in a girl? He crows, lifting the lager to his lips. He gestures where his mate sits, then downs his glass. He prefers tits. I prefer arse. What do you go for in a girl? Well, um, I feel quite uncomfortable. The air left the room a long time ago. All eyes are on me. If you must know, I'd like a girl who reads. Yeah, reads. I'm not trying to call you a chauvinist because I know that you're not alone in this, but I'd like a girl who reads, who needs the written word and who uses the added vocabulary she gleans from novels and poetry to hold lively conversation and a range of social situations. I'd like a girl who reads, whose heart bleeds at the words of Graham Greene. Raven Heat magazine, who ties back her hair while she's reading Jane Eyre, and who goes cover to cover with each Waterstone's three for two offer. But I want a girl who doesn't stop there. I want a girl who reads. A girl who feeds her addiction for fiction with unusual poems and plays that she hunts out in crooked bookshops for days and days and days. She'll sit addicted at breakfast, soaking up the back of the cornflakes box, and the info she gets from what she reads makes her a total fox because she's interesting and she's unique. And her theories make me go weak at the knees. I want a girl who reads. A girl whose eyes will analyse the menu over dinner. Who'll use what she learns to kick my ass in arguments so she always ends the winner. But she'd still be sweet. And she'd still be flirty because she loves the classics. They're pretty dirty. And that means later night she'll always have me in a stupor as we reenact the raunchy bits from the works of Jilly Cooper. See, <laughs> some guys prefer asses, some prefer tits. And I'm not saying that I don't like those bits, but what's more important, what supersedes, is a girl with passion, wit, and dreams. So I'd like a girl who reads.